Hey everybody, I'm Tim, and today it's time to find out who's the best and who's the rest. And you're watching Cigars Daily. Help us future-proof Cigars Daily by watching these videos on CigarsDailyPlus.com where you can get extra content, coupon codes, and all kinds of stuff because we're always working to make it better on Cigars Daily Plus. Every industry has its own luxury brands, even the cigar industry, which is weird because cigars are a luxury item in and of themselves. But even here, we've got brands that represent the best of what you can get, the cream of the crop, and everything else kind of falls in line behind it. And if you were going to go out and celebrate a special occasion, like, I don't know, leaving 2021 forever and never thinking or speaking of it ever again, that would be really amazing. And you would have to find the perfect stick. And if you went out and asked a bunch of cigar smokers, what's a great special occasion cigar, you probably get a lot of different answers and a lot of really good ones because there are some amazing cigars that are at that high end tier of the best stuff out there. But one brand that would undoubtedly be on your list that for a lot of cigar smokers is the brand is Padron Cigars. This is like Nicaragua's original cigar making family and today they have been doing this for a very long time and they just so happen to have two of the most popular high-end lines in their catalog like the Padron 1926 and the Padron 1964. Both of these cigars clock in around $20 a stick depending on the size that you pick up and there's some minor differences between these two but the big question to ask here is like what do you go after if you've got one special occasion and presumably only one mouth to smoke one of these bad boys that's what I want to answer today I want to dive into these two cigars to see what's the difference and what do they really have to offer so I want to take you guys through it and my hope is that this will give you the opportunity if you're looking for something special it'll give you an idea of what to smoke and if you're trying to decide between these two it'll give you an idea of what they have to offer for me this is just just the opportunity to smoke like $40 worth of cigars in one sitting. And so with no further ado, let's jump right in. And I'll ask you now to drop your comments and your opinion. If you've had the Padron 1926 or the 64, which one do you like better and which one would you recommend to people? I think at the end of the day, what we're really talking about here is the like the difference between the Mercedes S-Class and the Mercedes E-Class, right? There's lots of similarities there, both really high-end, very luxurious vehicles. It really comes down to preference, but there are some differences between these two that are notable. So I want to take you through each one in sort of a side-by-side -side comparison. And I'll start with the Padron 1964 right here. So I'm going to read these off a page because they're pretty specific. This bad boy was released in 1994, making it one of the older cigars on the market today. It was made to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Padron cigars back in the 90s. That is a ridiculously long time compared to most other brands on the market. All of the bands on these come serial numbered, which helps like provide that authenticity piece. You know you're getting the real deal. And this one, as Padron says, is ranked by industry experts as one of the best cigars in the world. It's a pretty nice accolade in and of itself. And of course, it appears on top 25 lists. I think this was Cigar Aficionado's top 25 in 2006, 2008, and 2016, respectively, with different sizes. So sizes up pretty well, especially compared to most of the other stuff you'll find on the market. And when it comes to the 1926, you'll see that some of the accolades are pretty similar. This one was released much later in 2002, which still puts it like prerequisite for substantial equivalence with the FDA, which is great. This cigar is never going to go away. It's grandfathered in. It was also released to celebrate Jose Padron's 75th birthday, a cigar patriarch and a absolutely amazing blend to honor the man. This one also comes with this serial numbered band for authenticity, which is a big deal because you can't find fakes out there for just about anything. And this thing outperforms the 1964 from what I can tell among cigar smokers sort of around the interwebs, which is where I spend most of my time. And of course, this one has graced the top 25 list in 2004 and 2007. Those are the two years I could find. So very similar, like the differences are very minor. And right here with the 1964, you got four year age tobacco. And with the 1926, you've got five year age tobacco. So if one year of aging provides much difference, we'll find out right now. So let me go ahead and light right in. All 
All right, 1964 Ride It Light Up is very woodsy. And of course, the big thing is smooth. This thing is smooth as all get out. A refined flavor is one of the things you should be looking for when you light into something that's like a like high-end special occasion cigar. It should have no imperfections, no bitterness, nothing coming out on the palate that's like, oh my God, that's skanky. This thing lacks all of that. It's very smooth, really, really nice, graceful flavor that right now at Light Up leads with the wood note. And the burn here isn't great at light up, but it's just starting to canoe on one side. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Now the 1926 kicks off with a bit of a different experience. So check this out. Very, very smooth. Sweetness to the wrapper right at light up. And this thing comes out with thick, chewy, creamy smoke. Definitely creamy in contrast with what I got right at light up with the 1964. So now all I got to do is sort of soldier on with these two and take one for the team and figure out which one's actually better. I'll bring you guys back in a minute and let you know what we're finding. Now, having smoked through the second third of both of these, I'm getting ready to burn the band on each one. It's been about 35 minutes or so since I last sat down. I really wanted to get to that middle part, right? The filet of the cigar where you're gonna get the best experience. And I, I was sort of puffing back and forth, once on the 64, then once on the 26, just kind of going back and forth, sitting in my office. And to me, first of all, the similarities are, are crazy with this one. These two flavor profiles are so similar to each other I think you'd have a hard time like pairing them up and saying, well, the 1964 is much more woodsy than the 26. The actual flavor notes in the profiles are, are almost identical, but there is some substantial difference in what I call sort of the character of that flavor. While those profiles are similar, the 26 had a much creamier, thicker smoke to it throughout the entire thing. And the 26 also provided a sweetness from the wrapper that I didn't get as much in the 1964. It fascinates me because as I've read online and looked into these two cigars, I see people defending the 1964 in like a ferocious way. They really, really like that cigar over the 1926 they'd pick it any day of the week but for me it's actually pretty simple the 1926 offers something that the 64 doesn't in terms of just that like presence of flavor there's so much to me so much more to taste and so much more to be had i caught myself retro the 1926 way more than i did the 1964 just because there was so much more to taste it's a fascinating little project to do and certainly if i was going to be celebrating a special occasion i would be leaning with the 1926 although i'll say this i think that there's a smoker out there for the 64 and i get that some people would defend this one over the 26 certainly if you're like palette lean a little bit more toward like I want to say a stout type of flavor it wasn't as as smooth although smooth is exactly what the flavor is on the cigar it just wasn't quite as smooth as the 1926 so again I think that there's a cigar out there for everybody and there's no one cigar that's for everyone and probably no one cigar that's for nobody when it comes to these two right here if you're going to ask my opinion I think that the 1926 has what it really takes it has what it like what you need to get the most out of that special occasion but again for different types of smokers you might like the 1964 my personal preference will lean toward the 26 and next time i'm whipping one of these out for a special occasion it'll probably be this cigar right here all right i want to hear again from you guys between patrons 26 and 64 which one do you prefer which one will you defend in the comments please drop your comment down below and check this video out on cigarsdailyplus.com we're always working to make it better on cigars daily plus thank you all so much for watching this is tim signing off for cigars daily and I will see you in the comments.